Our planet Earth has some of the most breathtaking landscapes. But unlike tourist-filled cities and towns, there are a few places no human should ever dare to visit. Here are the 15 most dangerous places on Earth. One, Elephant Kingdom, Thailand. The Elephant Kingdom, located in Chonburi, Thailand, is thought to be the world's most terrifying tourist attraction. While cities and towns all over the world offer beautiful scenery and historic castles, this particular tourist attraction offers something completely different. Even though the name Elephant Kingdom might make you think this famous Thailand destination is stretched out land inhabited by elephants, in reality, it's something quite the opposite. Have you ever wanted to climb into a metal cage and feed reptiles? Well, the notorious Elephant Kingdom offers just that. Tourists from all over the world gather in Chonburi in the hopes of feeding live 10-foot-long crocodiles, only separated by a metal cage that is kept afloat with plastic barrels. There is little to no barrier against the deadly reptiles. Tourists on board of the metal cages often don't realize that they themselves could end up being the crocodile's meals. The small caliber rafts were often broken down and unsafe. The empty plastic barrels that held up the cage would often sink or move, adding suspense to the already tense situation. When a tourist captured the now viral photo of tourists dangling food for the reptiles, social media went berserk. The international outcry forced the Thai government and local police to finally step in and take proper measures. This extremely dangerous and over-the-top park was finally shut down in 2016 on the counts of numerous safety hazards. Number 2. The Danakil Desert, Eritrea. The area is located in the Afar region of Northeast Ethiopia, near the border with Eritrea. The climate here can only be described as cruel, but against all odds, people do live here. The Afar people call it their home. Known as the gateway to hell, the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia is incredibly hot and one of the most alien places on Earth. The hot and dry climate means that few plants or animals can survive there. There are also a lot of salty poison pools that have a great percent of carbon dioxide in them. Because carbon dioxide is heavier than normal air, it sinks to the ground. So when small creatures like birds breathe the area just above the lake, they suffocate. Most people would probably consider this terrible place a literal hell on earth. But it still attracts lots of brave adventurers from all around the world. Just keep in mind that visiting the Danakil Desert on your own without an experienced guide is strictly forbidden. Bermuda Triangle Ships, planes, and people are said to have inexplicably vanished in the Bermuda Triangle, located in the western North Atlantic Ocean. Some make wild claims about extraterrestrials abducting people for scientific study. The impact of the long-lost continent of Atlantis, vortices that pull things into ultimate realms, and other unproven theories as explanations for the unexplained disappearances. Some explanations, if not all, have a stronger scientific foundation. These include a geomagnetic line of flux interruptions and oceanic inflatulence, which releases methane gas from ocean sediments. Environmental factors might explain many, if not most, of the disappearances. The bulk of Atlantic hurricanes and tropical storms pass through the Bermuda Triangle, and before better weather forecasting, these dangerous storms claim the lives of several ships. Additionally, the Gulf Stream can bring about abrupt, even dramatic shifts in the weather. The Caribbean Sea's numerous islands also result in many shallow water places, making ship navigation dangerous. A magnetic compass may occasionally point toward true north rather than magnetic north in the Bermuda Triangle, according to some evidence. Humans have always found the ocean to be a strange place, and it can be highly dangerous when there's a bad weather or poor navigation. Everywhere in the world, this is true. There is little indication that the Bermuda Triangle experiences more strange disappearances than any other sizable, well-traveled region. Number 4. Singabung Volcano, Indonesia this is an active volcano situated on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Eruptions occur here very frequently, often leaving thousands of people without shelter or livelihood. The nearby towns and villages have been completely covered in lava and ash several times already in 2010, 2013, 2014, and 2015. The latest explosion occurred February 27, 2016. That eruption ejected a deadly cloud of volcanic gas, stone, and ash to a height of 2,500 meters. And no one knows what will happen there tomorrow. 
There are nearly 130 volcanoes in Indonesia due to the country's geographic position on the so-called Ring of Fire, a belt of tectonic plates circling the Pacific Ocean with frequent seismic activities. Three volcanoes in Indonesia are currently active. Jen Volcano, Indonesia. Seeing the breathtaking and mesmerizing blue lava-like rivers of light might seem like a futuristic movie scene, but in reality, it's extremely poisonous Kawa Ijen Lake. A stunning turquoise lake sits at the peak of Kawa Ijen Volcano, and at night, electric blue flames can be seen rolling down the mountainsides. The absolutely jaw-dropping lake is full of hydrochloric acid, which is more corrosive than battery acid. The hydrogen chloride gas spewing from the volcano collides with sulfur-containing gases and creates a powerful chemical that is unimaginably corrosive. The Greek-Canadian explorer George Karaunas once again had the opportunity to explore one of the world's most dangerous places. The adventurer took a small rubber boat out into the acid lake to measure its acidity. It's just a toxic lake of sulfuric acid. What could possibly go wrong? The pH of the water was measured to be as low as 0.13. But even though this volcano and lake are clearly dangerous and deadly to humans, miners still risk their lives to collect the accumulated sulfur. George had watched these miners hard at work and recalls how the only protection they had was a wet rag stuffed into their mouth. The sulfur dioxide gas would still leak through and dissolve away their front teeth. Beautiful as it may seem, the Kawaijin volcano and lake is one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Elephant's Foot, Chernobyl Scientists discovered Elephant's Foot eight months after Chernobyl. They approached a tube beneath the damaged number 4 reactor and saw a giant stalagmite-like formation of black lava that had erupted from the reactor core. Because it resembled a mammoth's foot, the crew called Elephant's Foot one of the hardened masses. Radioactive lava could kill a person in five minutes, sensors found. Liquidators aimed a makeshift camera at the Elephant's Foot. Inspections determined it wasn't all nuclear fuel. The rest was molten concrete, sand, and core shielding. Corium was called for its reactor. Poor elephant's foot. Coughed and cracked. Chernobyl's explosion released radioactive plumes. Melting rods created chlorium. After extinguishing the nuclear fires, workers limited the core's invisible hazards. Temperature control rods were inserted late. Insertion into the hot core shattered and secured the rods. Heat and power production climbed until cooling water evaporated, producing pressure. The initial explosion blasted the 4 million pound reactor top through the ceiling. Broken conduits spilled cooling water into the reactor, which turned to steam when it reached the hot fuel rods. A second, stronger explosion followed blasting flames and debris. Six months later, scientists found elephant's foot. So named it because it resembles an elephant's foot. Still dangerous, it emits heat and death. Safe to visit and work near the new sarcophagus. This radioactive corium lump reveals its destructive force. Bikini Atoll, Marshall Island What may look like a stunning coral beach is the result of years of high radiation experiments. Bikini Atoll, Marshall Island, located in the boundless Pacific, has gained a reputation for being the go-to nuclear test site. With over 65 experiments and 12 years of hydrogen and atomic bomb testing, this gorgeous island has experienced more than any other land on Earth. While the ocean life may seem unharmed and peaceful, in reality, the beautiful atoll has gone through irreparable damage throughout the decade. Bikini Atoll held the world's first underwater atomic explosion in 1946, and its radiation exposure has only gotten greater. Extremely dangerous radioactive water is the result of decade-long radioactive contamination. The altered ocean was so powerful in charge, it sank nine ships and caused cancer amongst those who got near to the clear waters. Now, after years of harmful events, Bikini Atoll Marshall Island is open to tourists. Only a small chunk of the island's area is open to the public. No human is allowed to bathe and visit the polluted beaches. While this island may look like a heavenly vacation spot, don't be fooled. It's much more dangerous than you can possibly imagine. Great. Madidi National Park, Bolivia. At first glance, this incredible land looks straight out of a fairy tale, but this picturesque park is extremely dangerous in real life. Mandidi National Park, located in Bolivia, is the home to the most poisonous and venomous fauna in the world. A simple touch, cut, or a wound can become infected with tropical parasites that cause dizziness and even death. And while this land is undoubtedly very dangerous and hazardous, it doesn't stop tourists and travelers from making a quick trip down to the Madidi National Park. 
The mesmerizing Bolivian park is home to some of the most majestic creatures known to man. From exotic animals to unique fauna, Mandidi Park is filled with surprises and wonders. From jaguars, otters, to crested eagles and hummingbirds, the park has over 1,100 different animal and bird species. But when it comes to the real danger a human can face, one must always remember that this gorgeous and green park houses some of the most toxic and poisonous fauna in the world. Extremely deadly parasites await as a cut or wound is detected on a human. And when the perfect time arises, it hits the immune system and causes sudden death. Madidi National Park, as breathtaking and beautiful as it may be, is known for its venomous spiders, snakes, and poisonous plants. So, if you're thinking about visiting this exotic land, make sure you stay safe and follow the guide rules carefully. Number 7. Number 9. Lake Natron, Tanzania Located in East Africa, the United Republic of Tanzania is home to many natural wonders, among which is the eerie Lake Natron. It got its name due to the mixture of salt and minerals, called natron, which are revealed when the water's level decreases. Natron is a compound that occurs naturally, comes from volcanic ash, and mainly consists of sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate. Here are some photos of what this place is capable of. No one really knows how these animals die. On theory, expressed by photographer Nick Brandt, is that the reflective nature of the surface of the water is confusing to the birds who crash into the lake. The extreme sodium bicarbonate content preserved them perfectly, making them look like statues. 10. Boiling Lake Boiling Lake is a flooded fumarole from a volcano in the Valley of Desolation. It's a good example of what you'll find if you're brave enough to go there. The lake is 200 feet wide and its depth is unknown. It's surrounded by swirling clouds of mist and looks like a cauldron of quickly bubbling grayish-blue water heated by molten magma under the surface of the nearby rock. The only thing that compares to the beauty of Boiling Lake is the breathtaking views that surround it. These include unobstructed views of the ocean and nearby island of Martinique, as well as a landscape that hasn't changed in 200 million years because of erosion and volcanic forces. The Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand is bigger than the Boiling Lake. The Frying Pan Lake is the world's largest lake of its kind. The lake is usually boiling, but the temperature and level of the water have changed from time to time. Records show that the water level in the Boiling Lake has changed at least eight times in 1876. One of the most recent lake level changes happened between December 2004 and April 2005. This is still going in the 21st century. During this time, the levels of water changed many times. Small lizards and few kinds of insects are some of the toughest animals on the planet and live nearby. Lake Karachi Lake Karachi, in the Chelyabinsk area of southwest Russia and bordered by Kazakhstan, is regarded as the most polluted spot on Earth. Swimming in its waters would kill a person in less than 30 minutes. The route to the lake is also known as Karachai or Karachaj. It's north of Novogornya in eastern Russia and primarily made of concrete. It's a tiny lake that served as a disposal site for radioactive waste in the Mayak plutonium plant. One of the largest nuclear weapons sites operated by the Soviet Union between 1951 and 1953. It was the biggest lake in the natural world that could cool the reactors. The lake is now filled with concrete, serving as a permanent dry storage site for nuclear waste, at the surface meant to keep radioactive sediment away from the coast. The only method to legally enter the lake is by passing through a checkpoint. One of the deadliest bodies of water in the world is the lake, also known as Reservoir 9 or V9 Water Reservoir. You will die there after 30 minutes due to the pollution. It would expose you to a deadly dose of radiation, more than enough to kill you. Of 300 Röntgen, it was also impacted by a series of mishaps and catastrophes, which left the area heavily radioactively contaminated in various northwestern Turkic. Number 14. Sinabung Volcano, Indonesia Mount Sinabung is arguably one of the most dangerous places on Earth. In 2010, after 400 years in dormancy, Sinabung Volcano awoke and spewed hot gas, ash, and rocks into the Indonesian land. Thousands were harmed and at least 15 people were killed. Sinabung Volcano is the only volcano on level 4 alerts and completely off limits to any climbers. In 2019, another eruption caused havoc across the local village. Captured footage shows how ash and smoke shot 23,000 feet into the air and coated the land in debris. Number 15. Snake Island, Brazil 
93 miles away from Sao Paulo lies a land that is considered to be the most dangerous place on Earth. Ilha de Quemada Grande, or Snake Island, is an island where no human is allowed to step foot on. With highly venomous and deadly golden lancehead snakes slithering around the land, there is no safe quarter on the island. Last known human inhabitants date back to the 1920s. Legend says the last fisherman who strayed too close to the island's shore was discovered on his boat days later, lifeless in his own pool of blood.